Step 1. Upload content. After you successfully launch Web Access IMM, you will see the friendly interface with easy-to-use functions. The toolbar at the top shows the five management functions – Program, Schedule, Media, System, and Dispatch. Here's how to create a new advertisement. First, upload the multimedia content. Click Media on the toolbar. Enter the program name at the bottom and click New Directory. The newly created folder will appear under the Media page. Then click New File. A pop-up window will appear. Click New to select the multimedia content you'd like to use for the advertisement. Click Upload and proceed to upload the files. With a few easy clicks, you have finished Step 1. Step 2. Edit Layout. Choose Program and click New to enter the edit screen. Toward the upper right in the Program Name field, enter the name of the advertisement, then click Save and OK. Under Background Image, click Browse. Find and check the desired image, then click Choose File. On the left-hand side, below Program Edit, Drag in content icons such as video from the toolbar and set position and size. Double right click the content icon to see the playlist edit window. Click add file to import from the materials you have uploaded. Check select one or more files, then click choose file. Check select again and then click confirm. Web Access IMM supports formats including video, images, web pages, scrolling text, etc. Images can be set to display in timed cycles. To set up a horizontal scrolling text, click Media, then click the New Text button at the lower right. At Title, give the scrolling text a name. Under Content, enter the desired content. Set text font, size, and color. You can also set background color. When done, save and OK. Return to the program edit page. Drag the scrolling icon from the left onto the work area and drag and size it as needed. Double click that scrolling text block. See playlist edit. Click add file. Check select. Click choose file. Check Select again, and click the Confirm button. Click Save and Exit to finish single display layout editing. Web Access IMM supports multiple screen outputs. On the Program Edit page, click the New Monitor button to add a new screen, set resolution, and confirm. The top icons just below Program Edit adjust the display in the work area. If you need four screen outputs for applications like e-menus or a video wall, you can set a 1x4, 2x2, or 4x1 configuration. After screen layout configuration, drag in icons from the left-hand palette, such as image or video, and run through the same steps just shown for single display layout editing. Click Save and Exit to complete multiple display layout editing. Step 3. Schedule and Dispatch. The programs are scheduled by time, day, week, and month. Create a single day schedule first, then make an overall schedule on a weekly or monthly basis. Click Schedule and select Single Day Schedule. Click New to add a new single day program. Enter a title for the new single day schedule 
and find the program you just edited in step 2. Drag the program to the timeline and adjust the run time. Click Save and Exit to finish the single day schedule. After finishing at least one single day schedule, return to Overall Schedule. Click New and enter a title. You can drag the single day program you just edited to default schedule, or you can drag the single day program to a calendar cell and adjust the running time by dragging the left and right edges of the blue block. Click Save and Exit to finish overall schedule editing. Lastly, click Dispatch Schedule to distribute the program content for broadcast. Select the program you just edited. You can set a date and a time to start the broadcast, or you can have it start immediately. Then select the device or devices where you want this broadcast program to display. Click Execute and OK after you have completed all the settings. With these three simple steps, you can easily create attractive and engaging digital signage programs. Thank you for watching.